Alrighty, g'day everyone. Uh, welcome back to the vlog. This is going to be number 20, um, which is pretty incredible. We've been going for 20 episodes, which is, yeah, it's just awesome because uh, who would have thought we could talk so much about cricket? I'm um, just walking over to the container because in this video we're going to be doing a little farm update for everyone just to see back at home because people are like, let's see the whole farm for once. Um, so we'll get into it today. So here we go. So we're just outside the container and I just wanted to show you a few things before we actually head inside to go see the crickets But we've got an absolute belter of a day. It's 37 degrees And we are probably about two weeks away from harvest. So we've got the head over there ready to go And we've got a couple silo bins just put in here, which is where we're going to store our food for the season um, If not two years because we've got a heap of storage and not many crickets So we will in the future hopefully have more crickets and more containers lined up and that will be a perfect amount of storage Next thing we got here is our cement mixer. Now, you don't need this on your farm, but we just use this cement mixer for mixing up our coconut husk. It's just way easier, chuck the hose in there, mix all it up, turns it up for you, it's perfect, get the perfect texture. Now, we've got a little setup here, which might be new to a lot of people who haven't seen this before. We just built a little wash bay and a little uh, bay for actually mixing up all our coconut husk and our breeding soil. So, our coconut husk is in here, all mixed up. And then we just have a little sink and our water supply, but then we also have our rain tanks just around the side there, which is awesome. So these containers just here catch enough water off them, fill them up, and then we use that water for farm. Now, in here, this is our old container. A lot of you will remember it from oh, our earlier vlogs, probably like six or seven. Now, this container isn't being used anymore, it doesn't have any crickets in it. Um, we had a few leaks, it was a pretty dodgy container, so we're not going to be using it anymore just because it doesn't keep the heat in as well as our new one. But, still got a great purpose for storage. So, as you can see, we keep all our egg cartons in here. Now, we are very thankful for these egg cartons and a lot of people ask us, where do we get these egg cartons from? And we actually get them all from local support in the community, so just members of the community that don't actually want the egg cartons anymore and they're going to throw them out. So we give them a second life, which is awesome. The other thing is, this, uh, the, all these egg cartons, the ones down this end anyway, they actually came from Glenview Poultry. You can see it on the side there on the label. And we're very thankful because he dropped off a whole youth full of egg cartons, which we're just very blessed to have. Now, down the other end, um, this is where we also cut up our oranges, which we use for the pinheads, which I'll get to later. But we just got a bit of food here. As you can see, all blended up, ready to go. We keep most of our food though, actually in our cool room, which is all the way down over there. You can actually see the cool room. If I have a little look there, just there, which is our cool room, which is where we store most of our food, just to keep it from uh, going moldy and any bacteria getting on it. These are our breeding trays. Got a bunch of these cut up, ready to go. Our water feeders, we don't use these anymore, but they might come in handy one day. Old tubs, um, we used to put our breeding soils in here, in between moving the breeding soils from down that end, down to this end, but we've just found a better way to do it. I'll make a video on it later, what we actually do about that. And of course, more egg cartons. Pressure cleaner for washing things, which is pretty nice. So, and then just a bunch of random stuff for cleaning and everything else so yeah that's our old container okay so now we just head over into the new container um, all right so what we got going in here at the moment um, these guys are all adults down this end and I'll just jump up here so you guys can have a little look to see what's going on bunch of adults at the back there they've got their breeding soil um, normally when you open the door they'll run away because they're quite scared and timid but have a little look under here. So, a few crickets there running around, which is nice. It's always good to see the population increasing. Um, yeah, it's still the same setup with the oranges, the grain, breeding soil, and the water feeders, which is we've made videos of all our little cricket bin setups in the past. And then, as we slowly move down this end, uh, you can see this bin here, we've got a light going in this bin and we use the light to actually get the pin heads off of the breeding soils 
and because you can see down here these are all the pinheads and they just have a little bit of trouble actually getting off of the breeding soils so that's why we use that light and here's some teenagers for you a few hopping around which is always nice plenty under there really good to see the light underneath um, now these breeding soils this is about the age so we have about one and a half centimetre crickets in here. This is when they, we find we can start using the water feeders. Um, but then for these little guys just down here, these pinheads, you can see them all just running around there. But we only use oranges to make sure they get their water. And if I go up into this tub here, it might be a little bit easier to see, but there's some pinheads all scrambling around. Millions, so as we find, as we go along, Every day we're seeing an increase in population, which is quite nice. So yeah, these are our pinhead bays. Um, adults down that end, pinheads as we slowly move down here. These guys are still yet to hatch. I only put these in yesterday. And then, of course, the adults. Our famous crickets that will never die. These, this box is actually incredible. You can see one male just there. Now there's hardly any holes in this breeding soil because these crickets are actually nearly eight months old, which is just phenomenal. So there's only there's not many left. And you can see by the egg cartons how much cricket feces or frass is all over the place. So this box is gonna have to have a big clean up. Um, and this is a little bit of an experiment because we're actually just trying to see how long the crickets live for. So yeah, eight months. Um, it's a pretty incredible achievement, I think, for these guys. Which just goes to show that um, within this container, like I said before, it's 37 degrees outside and 28 degrees. That's Celsius, by the way, too. If my camera will focus on it. 28, just there you can see it. So, obviously, we've got a few things set up right in terms of humidity, heat, food, water, and just an overall environment for growing crickets in because these guys just never seem to die. So, it's pretty cool. Um, and down this end, we've got a couple of little experiments. So we're just trialing different foods and different water systems uh, to find what is the best system for actually growing crickets in. So there'll be another video later on with that. Um, down here, we just got all our recording. So we find it very important to actually keep track what crickets went into what bins and how old they are, which is why we know that these guys are eight months old and then also how many times we put breeding soils in there. So we can actually see the production rate, um, price sheet, calendar, just to keep track of the dates scales for actually weighing how much crickets weigh so we can work out the sale price. Uh, a little bit of food here and then just a couple of little random bits and junk and items like this. So these are just torches to actually help get the crickets off um, like I mentioned up there before. Um, yeah and then we've also got like our little frass collector which is quite nice. I've shown this in an older video. That's a great little setup for actually packing up crickets and yeah, that's pretty well everything in the container. So the main purpose right now for us is to keep trying to increase the population of our farm. Um, of course, we're learning every day. We're having little setbacks or we're having little achievements with different food and growth rates. Um, in the future, we hope to have this full um, shipping container, <laughs> actually full of crickets, which would be really nice because um, at some point in time you have to like make sure that you are making sales and you are selling crickets to actually turn a little bit of a profit but then also how do you keep your population for the future and keep it growing so we are seeing a huge jump in the population every week as you can already tell from the adults down that end to then even just seeing these guys just in this bin here which is really nice really encouraging to see when you see stuff like that yeah and we've got these huge bins too that we need to fill so there's a bunch of stuff all gonna happen in the future, which is really, really cool. Okay, so that's the full update. Um, just a quick video just to show you guys exactly what our full little setup is here. And um, yeah, that's everything. So I really appreciate you guys supporting the channel. We've just cracked 300 subscribers on YouTube, which is really, really cool. And then this will be the 20th vlog, so nice little milestone there. And um, yeah, like I've said in the past, if you've got any questions or if you just have any statements or any comments or any advice as well with growing crickets because um, this industry is so new and there's not a lot of information out there so we're still trying to figure out what we're doing and we're learning every day which is really, really cool. Um, so yeah, 
Like I said, if you have any questions, flick them through, leave them in the comments or flick us an email. So I'll definitely be replying to all those. And yeah, stay safe out there and have a great day. Bye.